Hello everyone, today we will be talking about NEET PG 2025 expected cutoff and the rank predictors. So first of all I will be talking that see in different years I have compared like in 2022, 2023 and 2024 what was the cutoff levels. So for under reserved in 2022 it was 201 and for ST, SC and OBC it was 169. In 2023 it was 291 and for SPSC and OBC it was 257 now for under reserve in 2024 it was 275 and 245 the difference between 2023 24 and 25 is in 2025 it was a single shift exam so for under reserve in 2024 it was 275 for but this year uh, what I think that First of all, it was a single shift exam and tricky options were there and increased previous year questions more or much of the questions were repeated as you have seen already in the recalls. So I think the cutoff expected cutoff can be 285 to 305 and for ST, SC and OBC it should be two, uh, can be around 245 and 260. This is just a prediction according to based on 22 23 and 24 and this year see much of the questions were repeated previous year questions tricky options and single shift exam so cutoff can raise definitely as compared to 2023 and 24 see it will be around uh, 2 around 285 to 300 it was 291 in 2023 also so somewhere that there only now rank predictor as uh, there were people were asking if i'm getting this much of marks so how much rank can i expect so for 680 plus you can accept a rank around first rank to top 10 you can be in top 10 if you are scoring more than 650 you can expect a rank of 500 then 630 to 640 you can expect a rank of around under 1000 if you are scoring a between a range of 640 to 620 then you can expect a rank of 2000 if you are expecting around uh, scoring around 620 to 610 615 you can expect a rank under 3000 same as around 610 605 600 all this uh, in if you are expecting in this range you can expect a rank of 4000 then similarly 590 to 595 if you are getting in this range you can get a rank up to 5000 or under 5000 then 585 to 588 C. Now each mark can contain around 300 ranks. So 585, 588, 590, you can expect a rank around six under 6000. If you are scoring, you are getting 578 and 580, you can expect a rank around 7000. Now, if you are expecting your scores to be 565 to 570, you can get a rank under 10,000. Then under, uh, if you are getting around 540 to like 560 to 540, you will be, uh, you can expect a rank under 15,000. Then 6, 525 to 530, you are expecting your marks in this range, you can get a rank of uh, around 20,000 then 508 and 510 so you can expect a rank of around under 25,000 and similarly uh, around 500 if you are getting a 490 490 to 500 then you can expect your rank under 30,000 so by that you can expect what uh, what are your further plans what branches you can get and further now uh, you know you have already calculated that how much correct how much wrong you have done what is the expected score and I have told you if the rank if the if your marks are like that you can expect that rank now what are the safe ranks for your dream branch so if you are planning to get radio diagnosis so for under reserved safest ranks are 3300 and OBZ it is 4600 
for uh, general medicine you can expect uh, uh, you know these are ranks for government seats okay so 5600 for under reserved is the safest rank i think uh, under this rank if you are scoring if you are getting under 5600 you can get uh, general medicine and if you are uh, under reserved for obc you can get around 7900 for dermatology you can get around 3000 under 3800 a government seat you can expect and 5600 if you are a obc candidate then obg rank you can get around uh, 12900 if you are you know, if you are getting a rank under 12000 or 13000 you can get there is a chance that you can get a government seat for uh, this might be the safe rank and for obc 15350 now for general surgery in a government seat if you are opting for a government seat 15500 if you are under is a candidate and for obc 21000 rank you can expect a general surgery seat in a government college for ent 18600 and 24000 for orthopedics uh, 16500 if you are getting a rank under 16500 and 17800 for a obc candidate you can expect a government seat in a orthopedic department and then pediatrics department 7800 and for obc 12390 or 12400 you can uh, if you are scoring this much of a rank under this rank you are in a safe position you can get a government seat for a pediatric department seat in a government medical college so these are some of the branches if you have doubts and if you want me to tell more of the ranks more of the previous year allotment details also i might share a different video that will be helpful for you so if you have any doubts and any queries you can ask me in the comment below thank you